Hello dear students I am sure you are well prepared for gate 2021 but before you enter the examination hall and you start writing the test there are certain things the most important things I would say that I would like to recall you about many of those things I have told you already some of those things will be new make sure to listen to me carefully till the end I have been telling you continuously that read the question carefully do not forget this don't think that reading a question is a wastage of time it is not even if you are spending 1 minute in reading understanding analyzing the question the diagram it is perfectly all right because majority of the even good students do the mistake because they fail to clearly understand what question is trying to ask you point number 1 Point number 2 if question gives you some important keyword in the question i have been telling this to you throughout what is a keyword right let me quickly tell you a brief uh, uh, description of it for example question gives you that find the total head available okay i am giving an example from mechanical engineering so total head is a keyword total find the total gauge pressure acting gauge pressure total these are the keywords similarly keywords can be in the form of units in the form of you know whether you have to find something out total or specific maximum or minimum there are n number of ways in which keywords can be defined and keywords are defined in most cases in the final sentence where it ask you at find the x right so that part you have to read most carefully what exactly you have to find you have to know the destination where you have to reach so that final part you need to read very clearly and and if possible just the keyword of that statement write down in your scribble pad in a scribble pad you will be dividing those areas for every question right you are not going to make it a rough sheet you have to divide it into areas specific area for a specific question so that even if you revisit the question if you have marked it for review you can come back and see what you have done right you have to be very clear in what you are doing there there itself i have told this to you already this tip i have already given to you right so there itself make a section where write down the keywords and then forget about the keywords start solving the question once you have solved the question completely just check back whether the keyword that you had to uh, take care of whether you have taken care of that or you just forget uh, uh, forget to uh, consider that based upon that you can uh, modify or you can accurate your answer right two very small but most important tips coming to the mindset what mindset you need to keep there are still few hours left right what do you think whole year and maybe more than a year some of you have prepared left few hours are not going to change much right if you have worked hard for last many months it will be very good for you this whole experience and your attempt will be very good for you and if you have not then these few hours are not going to make any difference so point number 1 stop stressing yourself that what special should i do in next few hours that will change the game it's not going to change the game right what have you done for so many months is going to define you So point number 1 take this idea out of your mind that next few hours are going to drastically do some magic they are not going to do any magic is that clear but if you relax if you think about what can go right if you listen to your favorite music that can relax you maybe watch a short movie which does not stress you because i did when i was preparing few hours before the gate one and two days before the gate i just relaxed small revisions parallel i continued but i didn't do anything else just 3 4 hours of revision that's it nothing more than that i watched even a couple of movies they were a big flop movies so i won't uh, name them but if possible relax take it easy mechanical engineering aspirants will clearly understand that if you have to increase the velocity to a very high value to supersonic speeds you need to diverge right you cannot keep converging to reach the supersonic speed this is the later stage of your preparation when you need to diverge relax think positive stay away from negative people negative thoughts don't let negative thoughts come to your mind stay positive think about what can go right 
Stop fearing about what can go wrong. At this point of time, you yourself can become your biggest enemy. It's a famous quote, right? You yourself are your best friend and you yourself can become your biggest enemy. If you start, you know, uh, thinking in a wrong direction, you start draining your mindset by thinking about what can go wrong, it will be very harmful for you. You will become your own enemy. You have prepared, you have every concept that is required. Even if you don't have some of the concepts, it is not going to affect. Nobody gets a full hundred in gate, right? So what do you know? You have to do that correctly. Next few hours, you have to relax. Think positive. It's the most important thing that you can do right now. It will obviously not increase your marks. It will not increase your concepts, but it will ensure that what you know, you will be able to do that correctly with a positive mindset. It is very much important. Next point and the final point that I would like to tell here that stop thinking about what others are doing. Stop thinking about what if he knows more than me? What if he has better accuracy than me? These things only make you feel more weak. Your target is not, uh, you know, the marks with someone else is scoring. Your target is 100 marks. I know it's not something that students reach, but if you target 100 marks and think that that is my target, I don't care about what set I am getting. I don't care about what is the pattern. I don't care about what others are doing. My only target of life for next few hours and in those three hours is to score as much as I can. That's it. As close as I can reach to 100, that is my sole target. Stop thinking about what outcomes I will get from the gate what institutes I will join after gate. Stop thinking about everything else. The only, the sole target of your life for next few hours and in those three hours is to do as many correct questions as possible. As close as possible, you can reach 200 marks. What is your set? Whether it's easy, whether it's difficult, what others are doing. Just stop thinking about everything else. It's just you and that 65 questions. And those 65 questions are your friend. They are there to help you. The language of the question will help you to reach your target. So don't take those questions as your enemy. Enjoy this process. I always used to love exams. Exams and writing exams was an experience that I absolutely loved. I always consider the question as my friends and not my enemy and not a hurdle. They are there to help you reach the answer, right? So stop competing in your mind with anyone else. You have to reach not the relative uh, accuracy or relative marks, target the absolute marks 100. Your motive is to reach as close as possible to marks 100. This obviously, as I told you, is not something that you will reach. You might reach my best wishes, right? But it will help you in keeping all the negative thoughts out and it will take out the best from you. It will make uh, sure that you give your best attempt if you target 100 marks and just stop caring about everything else in the world. I wish you all the best. Once you are done with the gate, come back to the channel and we will be discussing about the solutions and a lot more things are coming up in the coming months. I am planning, I have planned a lot of things. So I wish you all the very best and see you after the gate.